Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Eric and Corinne. You have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Eric and Corinne to start their married life together, surrounded by the people most important to them. So welcome to one and all who have traveled from near and far. Eric and Corinne, thank you for your presence here today, and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support in their marriage. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matthew Dingens, friend of the bride and groom. I first met Eric over 12 years ago as a freshman at St. Louis University. I remember being away from home for the first time in a new state, trying to find my footing. Naturally, I gravitated towards Eric's openness and humor. Leaving the Coronado Apartments that day, I was excited to have made a friend and realized over time how lucky I was to have made a friend for life. Later, after hearing about her and countless stories and anecdotes from his workplace, Eric introduced us to Corinne. It was plain to see why she had made such an impression on him. Corinne's kindness and generosity shone through everything I saw her do in her work and in her friendships. It has been a great pleasure to have known Eric and Corinne for all these years and to have witnessed their relationship, their appreciation for life and each other, and the commitment they share to making their world a better place together. I cannot think of a more suitable place than this Walnut Grove on this beautiful day for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the bride and groom, but for all of us who are lucky enough to know and love them as individuals, and even more so as a perfect pair. The bride and groom have selected a poem from Pierre Teilhard de Chardin they feel reflects their feelings towards love. Love is an adventure and a conquest. It survives and develops like the universe itself, only by perpetual discovery. The only right love is that between couples whose passion leads them both, one through the other, to a higher possession of their being. Put your faith in the spirit which dwells between the two of you. You have each offered yourself to the other as a boundless field of understanding, of enrichment, of mutually increased sensibility. You will meet above all by entering into and constantly sharing one another's thoughts, affections, and dreams. There alone, as you know, in spirit, which is arrived through flesh, you will find no disappointments, no limits. There alone the skies are ever open for your love. There alone lies the great road ahead. Family and friends, we are gathered here today to join Eric and Corinne in this union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Eric, do you take Corinne to be your wife? I do. Corinne, do you take Eric to be your husband? I do. Eric, would you please repeat after me? I, Eric, commit myself to you, Corinne, as your husband. I, Eric, commit myself to you, Corinne, as your husband. To learn and grow with. To learn and grow with. To explore and adventure with. To explore and adventure with. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. In the foreknowing of joy and pain. In the foreknowing of joy and pain. Strength and weakness. Strength and weakness. Direction and doubt. Direction and doubt. For all the risings and settings of the sun. For all the risings and settings of the sun. I take you as my partner. I take you as my partner. My companion. My companion. My other half. My other half. And I will love you for the rest of my life. And I will love you for the rest of my life. Corinne, would you please repeat after me? I, Corinne, commit myself to you, Eric, as your wife. I, Corinne, commit myself to you, Eric, as your wife. To learn and grow with. To learn and grow with. To explore and adventure with. To explore and adventure with. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. To respect you in everything as an equal partner. In the foreknowing of joy and pain. In the knowing of, sorry, so we're good. The foreknowing of joy and pain. In the foreknowing of, what, what? Sorry. <laughs> they in, me back <laughs> in the foreknowing of joy and pain. In the foreknowing of joy and pain. 
Strength and weakness. Strength and weakness. Direction and doubt. Direction and doubt. I take you as my partner. I take you as my partner. My companion. My companion. My other half. My other half. And I will love you for the rest of my life. And I will love you for the rest of my life. The bride and groom have selected a combination of quotes from Carl Sagan they feel reflects the beauty of marriage. A marriage makes two fractional lives whole. It gives to two questioning natures a reason for living. It brings a new gladness to the sunshine, a new fragrance to the flowers, a new beauty to the earth, and a new mystery to life. The size and age of the cosmos are beyond ordinary human understanding. Lost somewhere between immensity and eternity is our tiny home, floating like a moat of dusk in the morning sky. For small creatures such as we, the vastness is bearable only through love. Eric and Corinne have chosen these rings to represent the unbreakable circle of life and love. Please place them on each other's fingers. Eric, if you'll again repeat after me, I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. I vow that our love can overcome all things. I vow that our love can overcome all things. That our love unites, inspires, and celebrates. That our love unites, inspires, and celebrates. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. Corinne, if you'll again repeat me. I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. I vow that our love can overcome all things. I vow that our love can overcome all things. That our love unites, inspires, and celebrates. That our love unites, inspires, and celebrates. And will continue to do so for the rest of our lives and will continue to do so for the rest of our lives. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Eric, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you for the first time as a married couple, Eric and Corinne.